What is going on guys, MJ2005 gonna here, and may I interrupt your regular schedule with some Gunpla news. Now, this is mostly gonna cover for the regular releases, and I'm gonna cover the newly announced stuff before I cover the stuff that was announced beforehand, and I'm gonna go over these briefly in the end of the month round of videos, so stay tuned for that. But here we have it, what is going on today? I don't know what is so special about today that they decided to drop this on us, but we do have a new anime mini series Gundam Breaker Battle Log and judging by the character here yes we are going back to the vanilla Gundam Breaker like universe with Gundam Breaker 3 at the very very least I don't know if 1 and 2 take place in the same storyline but judging from the girl over here we're taking a trip back to Gundam Breaker 3 and with the mysterious Gundam over here that I'm going to talk about in a bit. It is going to be debuting on the Gundam channel in autumn of 2021 so we don't have much longer to wait. Let's move on to the Gunpla news shall we? First of all here we have the Gundam Helios. This is going to be a November 2021 release for 2530 yen. This is the more upgraded version of the Gundam Arrayus which is an upgrade to the Gundam Artemis. So this is going to be a new form of the um, what I just said and it looks as though this is going to be mixing elements of the Destiny Gundam, Gundam X, Gundam Double X and the Freedom Gundam and the shoulders kind of remind me of the Unicorn Gundam. So a total of five Gundams mashed into one and look at this full burst mode over here. You have the flaps open up for the heat radiation fins and the upturned Freedom Wings do like I don't know, do get me a little bit because I'm not too big of a fan of the upturned wings. I'm going to reverse them in my own build, so uh, don't mind me, but this is absolutely amazing. Like, I'm, it's not the Extreme Gundam, nor is it anything from my top 10 list, but I am still <laughs> overjoyed that a version of the Gundam Artemis is going to be re released in Gunpla form. And apparently, this kit is going to have be like the high-grade Gundam Sandrock, the regular release one, where it is going to include a code for you to input into Gundam Breaker Mobile in order for you to get the mobile suit in the actual game itself. I think that's going to be like a first press run release. I don't know, but don't quote me on any of this. I've just heard this from my friends, so don't quote me on any of this. Wait until more news comes out, but it's most likely that we're going to get this suit as a code in the kit in the actual game. So, look forward to November if you want the God of the Sun to be in your collection. And this is the full accessory loadout, the two hyper beam sabers. Look like they're going to be reusing the double axis beams, but they look to be completely new beams, albeit still not the 3D ones from the Gundam X, unfortunately. We do have a new looking beam shield, and we do have the Destiny's beam rifle, as it seems. So, my god, this thing is beautiful! Gundam Arrayus, step aside. Moving on, here we have the Gundam Live Lands Haven that's going to be re releasing in November for 2200 yen. Now, a shout out to Hobby Clubhouse here because they actually called it. We are going to be getting some Death Scythe Hell parts over here. And apparently, this thing, for the majority of the body, is going to be based on the Death Scythe Hell. Now, the Beam Scythe looks like it's something from the uh, the Slash Zaku Warrior that Izaku Jewel pilots in Gundam Seed Destiny. But the wings and the lower body and to the arms maybe from the freedom i don't know i can't tell but for the most part we are definitely definitely getting a high grade after colony gundam death scythe held in the near future judging from the parts that are used in this kit this is the best that we can get for a tv version of the gundam death scythe hell a high grade after colony and this turns a demon into an angel with the white color scheme and this thing just looks majestic looking apart from the scythe however because i'm not really too big of a fan of the scythe being used this way unless it actually is gonna be a hint towards the high grade version of the slash zaku phantom but overall the gundam live lands haven is just beautiful Moving on, here we have the Perfect Strike Freedom Gundam. Now, this is the machine that Kira actually wants. But anyways, this is basically mashing elements of the Perfect Strike Gundam and the Strike Freedom Gundam. Now, don't get your hopes up for a high-grade Cosmic Era Perfect Strike Gundam just because these things are custom-made. Now, the uh, the backpack, the ale pack looking thing, houses all eight of the Dragoons, and you do have the waist-mounted railguns mounted onto the backpack, and the sword and launcher pack is all custom-made for this kit, so don't get your hopes up. They may put 
the high Greek cosmic error perfect strike into consideration, but this is no indication that they would actually do a high Greek cosmic error perfect strike. Here we have the, yeah, basically the perfect strike freedom Gundam, and my god, the sword and the launcher can be combined into one giant gun, and you do have the claw that can be launched from the shoulders, which is pretty nice, and it seems like the gauntlet can generate a beam akin to the beam boomerang that is supposed to be on the sword strike. And you can just slice people when you're trying to do a cross punch. That is very, very nice. And here's the full arsenal. We do get the two beams for the sword. I think it, the sword does actually have the beams going from the top and bottom. Yep, there we go. The combined form of the weapons do have the beams going from the top and the bottom. And we do have the beam shield, which is more likely going to be a leftover from the original Strike Freedom Gundam that you could use, just like the Gundam Love Phantom. And you do have the custom sword and the custom launcher. Very, very nice. Of course, um, I don't think the Dragoons can actually be launched out in any way, shape, or form, unless you maybe have the High Greek Cosmic Era Strike Freedom DX set, which is extinct by now. I, I regret not getting that thing because it's too expensive for me at the time. Not that it's not expensive now, but eh, you know what I mean. But anyways, the Perfect Strike Freedom Gun of December. Look forward to Christmas for a release of this thing for 2,530 yen. Moving on, here we have the Blazing Gundam, which is a custom-made God Gundam, which is going to be a December 2021 release for 2200 yen. Now, I'm not too big of a fan of the head of the Blazing Gundam, because it, I, it's just not my taste, okay? But finally, G Gundam is getting its own share of love by getting some build custom kits. Now, I'm not counting the Death Army, not counting the Eldora Army, I'm counting the actual Gundams that appear in G Gundam, and as far as I know, this is the first, and apparently, this is going to be kind of like a uh, burning mode, because it has a completely different head sculpt, so it's kind of taking elements from the Shining Gundam, I think, So, and we do have some miniature wings that are originally from the God Gundam backpack, and the God Gundam gauntlets are shifted onto the ankle armor, so yeah, we do kind of have like a God kick, or a blazing kick in this sense, instead of a God finger. I don't know if we do actually get a god finger in this or not, but it looks like the backpack is going to be modified to look like the Rising Gundam. And since this thing is based on the god Gundam, don't expect too good of articulation in the arms because this is the most disappointing thing about the god Gundam. If you don't know, the arms only bend 90 degrees, which is sufficient, serviceable for a martial arts Gundam, but we wish it could have been more. And here we have a closer detail on the head. Apparently, it's going to wear a um, kind of like, I don't know, a football mask, a football helmet on the front. So as to have like better head protection. And here we have the form without the mask. Kind of looks weird without the snout, but it's a build custom. It will grow on me soon enough. But this thing looks like it's going to be able to just slot onto the head without any complications whatsoever so that is going to be pretty nice and here we have the full arsenal we have kind of had like the beam tonfas like literally generating beams from a physical tonfa we do have the um, beam sabers that are mounted onto the god gundam and of course we do have the blazing kick moving on here we have the gundam barbatorus so this is a centaur version of the gundam barbatorus and it actually uses a bow a cannon design from gundam that is a real type in Gunpla form that uses a freaking bow. <laughs> now, I don't mind missing out on the Sengoku army weapons that much anymore. Although, yes, it's a shame that I missed out on that weapon set because everybody is picking that up and it's not going to ever be back in stock ever in Hong Kong as far as I can tell. But finally, a centaur that uses a freaking bow, and it's an iron-blooded orphan's design. This thing kind of draws the color scheme from the Gundam Grubbery, as I feel, and I really do love kind of like the one-sided V-Fin. It's not intentionally damaged like the Exit Repair or the Gundam Finiche, but my god, this does this thing look absolutely freaking amazing. And of course, it does kind of use a tail because obviously it's a Barbatos design, and I feel like the tail is kind of an inspiration from the Hambrabi from Gunzeta Gundam, and of course, the uh, Centaurian figure makes this kid look absolutely unique. And you, you do have the twin swords over here that look absolutely amazing. Now, I did do a Centaur design for one of my custom builds, which turned out to be subpar in my opinion. But that's just me. But anyways, this is an official center design of the Gundam Barbatos. And what the hell is he doing here? I don't know. Can these things be used as 
oh, these things combine into a bow, but I don't know what he is doing here, but Gundam Barbatorus is literally what the Chimera should have been, a centaur, because Chimera is rides on the Black War Horse. But anyways, whatever the case is, this is definitely, definitely on my radar. Unfortunately though, it's going to be a January 2022 release for 2420 yen, so it's a very, very pricey kit, but... To be fair, you are getting one and a half model kits in this box set, so yeah, fair is fair. And I've only just noticed that the energy line, energy strength for the bow is kind of like a reference to the eye effects of the Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex. Or the Gundam Barbatos Lupus when the Ally of Vigilana system limiter is deactivated. So that's a very good design choice and a very good callback to Iron-Blooded Orphans. Moving on, here we have the Gundam Double O Command Quanta, which is going to be a January 2022 release for 2200 yen. Now, this is the best we can get in terms of having a real type command Gundam. Now, I don't know who would implement m militaristic effects into kind of like a mystical mobile suit, like a god like mobile suit, like the Double O Quanta, but honestly, this thing does look very, very good. If you add some sand and weathering effects onto it, this is just gonna look impeccable. At least they kept the GN sword. And so you may be able to swap on the um the GN sword bits onto it to make a buster sword. And of course we do get some equipment that is inspired by the command gun them. For example the overhead four tube missile launcher and of course the guns that are equipped onto this thing. Now this thing almost lost its own like double O quanta effect and I can only judge on the design up close because what I said in the uh, M91 and the Tall Strike and Glitter review is that we need something that is modified yet it still evokes more of the original design's aura. So I don't know if this thing is going to be counted into that category but only time will tell. Only when I do actually get this kit can I actually judge on the design. Looks like the sword bits are going to be used as bayonets and short swords of the weapons so yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to put the sword bits onto the um, onto the GN sword, but you could try if you do have the original double O quanta high grade. So this thing is going to be a beast. It kind of reminds me of the virtue physical for a little bit, just a little bit. Moving on to the Twitter of the Bandai Spirits hobby page, we do have some premium Bandai releases. So this is going to be, first of all, the Ground Gundam Urban Warfare specification. So it's basically a mishmash of the Ground Gundam and the Gundam local type North American type. So the color scheme is basically the same and we do basically have the same accessories as the Ground Gundam as far as I can reckon but who knows. And over here what is this guy's name? This is the Goof Crimson Custom according to the translation. So this is literally just a color variant of the Goof Custom which is a decent kit from what I can tell from the reviews in the past and we are getting a red version of it. So yeah, Shar Aznable has stolen the goof from Rambaral when he died and made it into his own goof custom. What an insult, but this thing with the blazing red, I don't know if any goof fans can pass it up. Moving on, more premium mana releases, so we have a Gundam Ashray Red Frame Inversion version, so basically kind of like a photo negative version of the Gundam Ashray Red Frame with a flight pack, and we do have the Baku head, thank god, because that is not included in the real grade, and we also have the flight pack. The high grade uh, Ashray mold is decent and serviceable, so this definitely is going to be a pretty decent release when you decide to get it through premium bandai unfortunately but uh, since this is a color custom that doesn't really add too much to the red frame design i think this can easily be a pass and you can steal this color scheme paint it on your astray red frame high grade and voila there you go apart from the katana that is going to be a pain to paint and moving on we have the gun wing what is it wing gundam sky zero which is going to be kind of like a uh, Cyan version of the Wing Gundam Zero. It's just a color custom, nothing really too shouty and special about it. Of course, they kept the bird mode because it's just a color custom. Mechanics are exactly the same. So, if you want to steal this color scheme and paint it on your high grade after Colony Wing Zero, then go right ahead. And if you're lazy, then wait for the P Banner releases because these are going to be able for pre order soon. 
So that is going to wrap it up for the um, Gundam Breaker Battle Log news. And let's move on to the less interesting news for today, which is going to be an entry grade RX-78 2 Gundam painting model, which is going to be a June 21st release for 2021 for 770 yen. So exactly the same price as the entry grade, and it comes in kind of like two tones of white, one with just a pure white and one with a very light grey. This thing does come with all the accessories apart from the beam effects however, so you can actually enjoy this thing in the pure white form. And this is a painting model after all, so you can actually make your own custom colour scheme of the RX-78 2. And I wonder what the custom color scheme of this RX-78 2 painting model reminds me of. Nah, drawn a blank there. But anyways, let's move on. We have a P-Banda release of the high-grade Universal Century Bound Dock Gates Kappa version, which is basically just the Bound Dock on Primer. So as soon as I saw this thing in Zeta Gundam, yes, because I've checked it out in the past two weeks, pretty good series, didn't hit me as hard while I watch it, but it's remarkable to say the least. I saw this thing coming immediately because we do have the original Bound Dog, it is relatively praised by the Gunplug community and of course the Gates Kappa version is basically just the color custom so yeah if you do want a more grounded color scheme for the Bound Dog, here you have it, P-Band that has you covered in October of 2021 for 5500 yen so the same price as the original Bound Dog, evidently but it's going to be marked up significantly for you guys who aren't covered by P-Bandai web shops. So, yeah, militaristic looking bound dock, here it is, for your own enjoyment. Moving on, here we have a P-Bandai Zaku Desert Type Double Antenna Specification. So, as far as I've heard, the um, desert effects, the desert camel effects are stickers, and this is just exactly the same as the Zaku Desert Type, but with double antennas. So, um, I don't know much about the Zaku Desert Type because I haven't looked it up. But it's a mind new change according to what I know. So if you want this, uh, Bandai has you covered in October for 2640 yen, which is a little bit on the high side for Zaku, but I don't know. Just, I don't know. There are trillions of Zaku variants out there, and I can't keep up with them all, even though I can keep up with the Gundam variants. Moving on, with the Messers are officially announced now. So this is these two are going to be coming in September for basically 3300 yen and 3200 yen. So Messer Type F2, basically four more pieces of plastic in the actual legs. And I believe the Commander Type has a different backpack. Yep, there is the different backpack. Instead of having uh, something rather suggestive for thrusters. And finally, this just popped up when the video was rendering, so I had to stop it and add this back in. This is the entry grade RX-78 II US Gundam American type. And they don't mean it in the local Gundam type sense, where it is just black and orange. This is literally patriotism to the very, very finest in Gundam. They are actually applying the uh, American flag color scheme onto the RX-72 Gundam and releasing it for an October 2021 release for uh, $10 US dollars at that. So um, you 10 US dollars, fair price, so I guess if you want to go for a, an American Patriot Gundam, then here you have it. Next best thing is the Gundam Freedom from G Gundam, but I guess we have this thing to stand in for it for now. So that is going to wrap it up for the entirety of this video. Of course, I'm going to be reviewing every single one of the Gundam Breaker Battle Log kits, apart from the color customs that are showed in the Twitter page. So look forward to that. Gunpla is... <laughs> I don't know. Because it has been stale in, the, in 2021, so... Thank God they're having a big drop on us like this. I'm reviewing every single one of these, and I'm overjoyed that we're finally going to be getting some Gundam Breaker... Gunpla, to say the very least. Uh, after the the disappointment in terms of marketing of Gundam Build Divers Battle Log, we're finally gonna gonna be getting some new build Gunpla that I can't wait to review. Hopefully, you guys can't wait for these to be released as well. Tell me in the comments below what you think about these, and that's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more Gunpla reviews, Gunpla news, and all that kind of stuff. Turn on notifications for future content alerts if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.